Hello and welcome to the Snickerdoodle Knits channel. I am Jessica. I am the knitter and designer behind Snickerdoodle Knits and I'm coming to you from North Carolina in the United States. In this video I'm going to talk about one of my Valentine's themed pattern designs. This is the Lovely Heart Dishcloth. Um, the basic idea of the pattern is that it's this pretty cute heart motif design in the form of a dishcloth. It makes a great gift knit, um, whether it's Valentine's Day, a Christmas gift, a birthday gift. It's just fun. It doesn't have to be red and pink to be Valentine's colors, um, but it's just something different for a dishcloth. Um, a little bit maybe fancier than your typical knit dishcloth. It is a simple pattern but I do not recommend it for like a very beginner knitter. Like if you've only knit maybe one pattern before, it might not be time yet to, to try this pattern out. You should be comfortable with how to knit and how to purl. And if you're not an experienced like lace knitter, you'll find some new stitches in this pattern. Now with all of my patterns, I do have tutorials linked throughout the pattern that'll teach you how to do the stitches. So like I think this has like a purl for it together and it has some increases, some other decreases. Um, so there's tutorials available so you don't have to know all of the techniques before you get started. But you should be comfortable with just the basics of knitting. Um, so this pattern does come in two sizes. This is the small dishcloth size. Um, it's kind of the size of maybe a typical dishcloth compared to my hand. That's how big it is. Um, and then it comes in a large size, which is really quite large. Um, almost like a hand towel size. Um, but it's great like if you want to have it doubled over to be scrubbing on something, if you just want to use it as a hand towel, anything like that. It's a nice size that's larger than a dishcloth size. Um, I do think this one knit up larger than I was supposed to. I think my gauge was a little bit too big on this one. Um, but that gives you an idea of size. So the stitches included are, like I said, knits, pearls, increases and decreases. Um, and then as an alternative, maybe you want to make a different size. So this I started with the, the dimensions of the, the instructions of the large size. So here's the large size. So it's three hearts wide. Um, so I started with that three hearts wide, just the instructions for the large size, um, and then I knit until, I worked it until I ran out of yarn. So that gave me a larger size than the small one, of course, because it's wider, um, but it's not a whole lot taller. I don't know if you can see. There, it's just a little bit taller. Um, of course, changing your gauge and stuff can also change dimensions of the pattern. But if you're interested in dimensions of either the small size, the large size, or this one that I knit, kind of a custom size, those are all available like on the Ravelry pattern page, in the pattern itself. Um, so it's, it's available for you before you even buy the pattern. This pattern is available as a free pattern on my blog. Um, or you can purchase it like on Ravelry, Webcast, and Pattern Vine. All those links will be down below. There will also be a link to a blog post that I have that recommends other yarns. So what I used is Sugar and Cream by Lily. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to use that kind of yarn in the pattern. There are lots of great options to use that are still cotton yarns. Um, the reason cotton's great for dishcloths is because of how it absorbs water um, and 
you can wash it really easily in the washing machine and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's my lovely heart dishcloth. It's a simple pattern, um, but I don't recommend it for super beginners. Um, but it's a fun, quick knit that can put some love into your kitchen. Um, it's a fun gift knit for others and it's a great way to use up some of that cotton yarn that you've had sitting around forever. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. Um, otherwise, if you liked the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel and check out the other tutorials and videos that I have available on my other designs. I hope to see you around and happy knitting!